y'all doing today? It's Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another video. Just getting back from the Fort Myers Repticon or the One Day Reptile Expo. And I'm just gonna show y'all some of the things that I picked up. I actually wasn't really expecting to go. I know it was gonna be like a smaller show. Definitely wasn't expecting to get anything, but I actually picked something up. Picked up a few items actually. And so um, the first item I got, got me a big bag of Aspen. Um, and this was uh, $10. So usually like the smaller bags are like $7 a bag. So saw this, it was a pretty good deal. The only time I see deals like this is at the expo. So um, I always clean out all my cages, disinfect them, change all the Aspen out once a month. So that's coming up this week. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just get this Aspen, just get it out the way. Um, the second thing I picked up was some super worms. Picked up a hundred of them for six dollars, which is another good deal. Um, so y'all yeah, can see in here. Got them in oatmeal. So for those of you who don't know, I know this this channel is basically for my hog nose snakes, but I also have a toke gecko. So and my toke gecko, I. His, her name is Leroy. When I first got her, I didn't know the sex of her, so I named her Leroy. But I, I'm 100% sure she's a female, so she's gonna keep that name. But for some reason, she only likes to eat mealworms. Um, I've tried feeding her crickets. Um, I even had like frozen dried roaches, because I think like dubia roaches are illegal in Florida. She wasn't interested in either one of those. And, um, and so what I do is I buy Pangea, like the the food the powder um food that you give like um crested geckos and things like that and i mix that with um like i got the papaya flavor as well as i got like a high protein high insect version of it and then i have like my my uh, calcium and i pretty much mix all that in there and i dip the mealworms into that mixture and feed it to my toke she seems to like it and it's a good way to kind of not really gut load my animals, but to make sure that she's getting the vitamins and minerals and different fruits that these mealworms will eat in the wild, other than just giving her the mealworm straight out of the oatmeal or the bran, which they probably don't have that much nutrients in. So that's just a strategy that I use and it seems to work. So that's, that's my second thing that I bought. So she's good for a while with that. And so the third thing that I bought is something that I, I I'm, I'm, this is my first time ever seeing this snake, and it's not a hog nose snake. Um, before I even got into hog noses, and before I even got into keeping snakes, um, this one type of snake kind of caught my eye, and it's a corn snake. And usually I'm mm, not really a fan of corn snakes, but the type that I wanted was an all white corn snake. I saw a picture of it, and I'm like, that's the coolest snake. And it's called a blizzard. And um, they basically, basically what I have right here. So they basically start off as pink. And then as they age, they become solid white. And in my opinion, that's like the only type of corn snake that I, that I like. And I have been going to Reptile Expos. I've probably been to like, I'm not even sure, over 20 Reptile Expos. And I've never seen this type of corn snake before. And I finally found it, man. And this is a female. Like I say, she is a blizzard corn snake. And she is pinkish right now. And she's probably the tiniest snake that I ever had. And so um, as she gets older, she's gonna turn all white. And she has those red albino eyes. And she is really beautiful. She was a good price. As you know, corn snakes are a lot cheaper than hog nose snakes. And um, I don't plan on breeding her or anything. She is just a pet. She is just something that I wanted for a long time. Finally got the opportunity to get it and I just, I couldn't say no. So, man, I'm really excited to, um, to add her to my collection. <laughs> I always tell myself, no more snakes. I'm good with the ones that I have, but those of you who collect snakes know that you just can't have one. So I'm definitely excited to raise her up. I don't have a name for her yet. I was thinking maybe like sugar or snowflake or something that's kind of Yeti. Uh, I was also thinking because she's a blizzard morph, maybe storm. Uh, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? What should I name her? 
because she's going to be pure white when she gets older. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And um, unlike her, unlike my hognose snakes, the babies that I feed every, um, well, twice a week, I'm only going to feed her once a week because she's a corn snake. Um, she's so tiny, it's kind of hard for me to imagine her eating a pinky, but I know she will. Um, and so I'm just going to feed her. The guy said he feeds her every Wednesday, so I will be just feeding her on Wednesdays. And you'll definitely see her in my upcoming feeding videos. So definitely, man, if you like this uh, channel, if you're into corn snakes, um, leave the comments down. And yeah, man, I'm really excited to add this little guy or this little girl into my collection. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video, man. I'll see y'all later.